Can you hear me okay? Yes, sir. Thank you so much. Yes, we can hear yes. you. Great. Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, can we just uh, go over to our team in Maharashtra? Uh, Simran and Shankari, could we do a quick sound check, please? Simran and Shankari, could we do a quick sound check, please, before we start in a minute? Simran and Shankari, could we please do a quick sound check? Simran and Shankari, please, could you, we cannot hear you right now. Can you please do a quick sound check? Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. If you can be a bit louder, please. Okay, sure. All right. We are about to start now. So... Okay. You can start now, Aditya. Uh, Shankari, thank you, Dr. Sangeeta. Uh, Shankari and Simran, can you please start the proceedings? Thank you. Namaste, Salaam Alaikum, and very good afternoon to everyone. On behalf of USAID supported Accelerate program, Implemented by John Hopkins University School of Medicine, YRG Care, Blue Lotus Advisory, the Fenway Institute, and Maharashtra State AIDS Control Society, we welcome you to the launch of the transgender serviceability models in Thane and Pune. This is a wonderful consult. Uh, this is a wonderful consolidation to our Pride Month 2020 campaign and the beginning of a new initiative that will hopefully be. Uh, assurance of more pride and joy. Now, I would like to Simran to take the further proceedings. Simran. Thank you so much. Today, Accelerate is capable of launching this community-led initiative with the generous support of the American people, USAID PEPFAR, the proactive leadership and guidance of NACO, the commitment and collaboration from Maharashtra State AIDS Control Society and the valuable <laughs> insights and feedback from the transgender community, which is our backbone. Good afternoon. I am Simran Bharucha, Director for Transgender Health, shall facilitate this event with my colleague, Shankri. Um, our technical specialist, Trans Health Maharashtra. To welcome the dignitaries, our esteemed guest, and to set the context of this event, I now invite Dr. Sunil Solomon, the Chief of Party, Accelerate, and Associate Professor, John Hopkins University School of Medicine. Samran. Good afternoon, everyone. I think I want to start by on behalf of Accelerate. It really is my honor to welcome uh, Sri Alok Saxena, the AS and DG National AIDS Control Organization, Sri uh, Chandrakan Dange, the project director for MSACS, uh, Mr. David Rans, the US Consul General from Mumbai, uh, the senior leadership, Dr. Shobini, who is the DDG for TI from NACO, all our friends and colleagues from NACO, all the donor organizations, implementing partners. I think most important of all, I really want to welcome all our friends from the community uh, to the <laughs> hybrid event here today. I wish that we could have all been in present for the launch of this very important event, but I think it's just as important to ensure that COVID and all its restrictions don't really derail the progress that we have made towards other programs. So I really think this event marks a critical first step in the fight in the in one of the last uh, miles that we had to travel to combat HIV in India, so we really can't delay this event any further. I think over the past 35 years, India has made dramatic progress in combating HIV and AIDS. I think looking at data today, especially among transgender populations, it may be very hard to grasp the amount of progress that India really has made. 
So having been associated with the HIV epidemic in India for almost from the beginning, I think it's very easy for me to remember that back then when they were looking for HIV in India, they focused on female sex workers and um, uh, people who had received multiple units of blood because they didn't think homosexuality or men who have sex with men existed in India back then. And I think also given the high burden of um, HIV infection among heterosexual populations, the national program rightfully and most of the organizations focused on the heterosexual epidemic, which has resulted in dramatic decline, almost an 86% decline in the burden of HIV infection in this population. What has happened is there have been pockets of infections and uh, what we really need to recognize is to achieve HIV AIDS epidemic control in India, we need to achieve these goals and targets and reductions, not just in the heterosexual populations, but in all populations, especially those that are most vulnerable, such as transgender communities. I think today we are launching this initiative under the leadership of the National AIDS Control Organization in the Maharashtra State AIDS Control Society to implement integrated models for transgender populations in Maharashtra. I think for any program, especially the National AIDS Program to be successful, change and evolution of the program to respond to the community needs is critical. And NACO has been doing a great job with this over the past three, and a, uh, three decades. And I think currently with uh, Shri Alok Saxena as the AS and DG and Dr. Shobhani Rajan, who is the DDG of the TI division who oversees transgender communities, we really have visionaries in NACO who, are, who actually see their vision through. We generally tend to think of people in terms of diseases. For example, in the HIV program, we focus on HIV care. The TB program focuses on the provision of TB services. The viral hepatitis program focuses on hepatitis B and hepatitis C. And many times we often forget that all these people at the end of the day are all people. They're not HIV patients, they're not TB patients, they're not hepatitis B or C patients, but they are people. And people, regardless of whether they're gay, straight, male, female, old, young, transgender, we all have similar issues. And when we are developing a program, it's critical to address that we not only treat these diseases that we're focusing, but actually treat individuals as a whole. For example, during the pandemic, many of us lost income, many of us were depressed, many of us turned to alcohol as, as a coping mechanism uh, to try and overcome the pandemic. And transgender communities like us had these same issues. So this really is the impetus for these integrated models that we are proposing to launch here today. It's not just a clinic for HIV prevention or HIV treatment, but rather a community driven center, a center that's, that's informed and the service delivery is informed by the communities that really will strive to provide holistic care to transgendered communities, incorporating social support, mental health, nutrition, along with traditional services such as HIV prevention and treatment uh, and the management of sexually transmitted infections. To admit that or the model that we are launching here today is not perfect. It's not perfect, but we really can't let perfection be the enemy of good. We are starting these services with a vision. And we hope that you will all join us in our quest to build this model for the transgender community in India. Very, such models, very few such models exist globally, uh, but I'm certain with the leadership of NACO and like the community forces such as Simran and Zainab and Abina, and the support from all these different communities, we really can build a model that the whole world could learn and benefit from because these models don't really exist in many settings globally. I wanna end by uh, thanking you all once again, welcoming, welcoming you to um, joining us today on the launch of this exciting new initiative, which really would not have been possible without the support of uh, PEPFAR and USAID. Thank you, Samran, over to you. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Dr. Sunil, for those precious words and sharing the context of the global perspective about trans health and emphasizing the need to establish more such trans clinics. Thank you so much. Uh, now, please may I request uh, Mr. Aditya Singh, the Deputy Chief of Party and Executive Director Accelerate, and Ms. Simran Barucha shall now introduce and detail the service delivery package which we have planned for Maharashtra. Simran and Aditya. Thank you so much. Aditya, 
Yes, thank you so much. I hope I'm audible uh, and greetings from the accelerated office uh, here in Delhi. Again, thank you to USAID and Consul General uh, David Rands for being here. So uh, before, uh, without further delay, I'd just like to go through a quick summary of Accelerate. The Accelerate program is supported by USAID and PEPFAR under the leadership of NACO and SACS. Um, it's implemented by the Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine and our partners, YRG Care, the Fenway Institute and Blue Lotus Advisory. And the duration of the project is 2019 to 2024. Essentially, what we do is uh, try to lead by demonstration and demonstrating innovations in the cascade of HIV services uh, and also contributing to the National AIDS Control Program in terms of the innovations or the initiatives that actually can benefit populations in actually reaching out to the hidden and at-risk populations in a more effective way and linking them to the entire cascade of services. And that's what actually led us to working with the transgender populations. Now we understand that uh, you know with our various interactions with the community and the global body of research done around transgender issues, it's actually non-HIV services that can act as entry points for HIV services for transgender populations. And that's actually what we embark to do with Accelerate. Looking at the universe of the transgender population in India, uh, there is about 500,000 transgender population estimated as, as per the 2011 census data. And as per the behavioral surveillance of NACO, we also know that 70% of transgender population are primarily engaged in sex work. And there is stigma and discrimination still faced by the community. That being said, there's also a lot of progressive initiatives that have taken place in the legal and policy framework for transgender populations. That can be seen in the NALSA judgment, recognized in the third gender, and also in different state bodies uh, forming welfare boards and councils for uh, transgender populations. Next, please. With Accelerate, we've taken on a few initiatives and we've already always engaged with the community, had community consultations, stakeholder meetings, and expert groups, be it at the national state level or site level. But that's really kind of the way that we've designed our programs and actually uh, tried to create access points for the transgender populations. Since 2019, we have actually been supporting the AIDS control program and creating those access points across HIV testing, treatment, and even uh, uh, prevention as well as the uh, viral load uh, testing and services. Uh, we've also done a number of communication campaigns for awareness and demand generation of services. And we are quite proud to uh, actually have launched one of the first ever comprehensive uh, transgender clinics in Hyderabad in January 2021. With an amount of implementation, we actually had close to 100 enrollments in terms of client there. And now we are here at the crossroads of implementing these models here in Pane and Pune with, with, with this esteemed leadership uh, present here. And I think whatever our experience has taught us is that one size does not fit all. Uh, Simran, would you like to explain a bit more about that? Absolutely, Aditya. It is very truly said that one size does not fit all. And so is our transgender clinic and our intervention that needs to be more comprehensive, more integrated. And that's what we are aiming to launch today. By launching today, we also want to highlight that we already launched our first transgender health clinic in the state of Telangana on 20. 9th of uh, January 2021, with the esteemed presence of Telangana State's AIDS Control Society and the community leaders and representatives. And now the clinic is functioning in a very smooth and desired and preferred way. We intend to have the same launch again in the state of Maharashtra. As Aditya did mention to you all that uh, Pune and Thane has tremendous number of population, has a scope of an, an opportunity to work with transgender community. And we have already the guidance and the support of uh, uh, Maharashtra State AIDS Control Society, as well as PEPFAR and USAID. With that, let me come to what kind of services we would be providing with, uh, with Mara in, within the uh, Maharashtra states uh, in Thani and Pune. Can we have the next slide, please? So as I mentioned, the Thane would be a comprehensive uh, service delivery clinic. It would be a semi one-stop shop where we would be um, presenting, giving and providing in respectful manner, the services, which is really the need of an hour for our trans community. And same goes with the Pune. In Pune, we are setting up an integrated service delivery uh, uh, clinics with the support of 
Bharatiya Vidyapet Institute, uh, which is a medical college where gender affirming surgeries would be given. Now, if you look at the in house services from HIV to STI, from, from beyond HIV to STI, to gender affirming care services, to legal and social support, is what has been provided within the clinical premises. Of course, it's a clinic, which means the other services such as gender affirming, the, the professional psychiatrist, uh, the gender identity cards, the social support, those are the services which would be linked up through referrals and linkages. These linkages and referrals would be considered only when the person, when the institution is comfortable with trans people, which means he or she or they or them have to be comfortable with the trans people. And then we provide the linkages services also. Coming forward, what is the expected result from the Maharashtra um, clinics? So we intend to reach to unreached population of around 3,000 trans individual. And when I say people transgenders, it's an umbrella term. It is inclusive of trans men, trans women, hijra, jogapa, jogti, everyone. We consider everyone as people who consider themselves as trans people. We are looking for collaborations with our stakeholders. It won't be possible if we do not um, you know, have collaborations with stakeholders. We intend to reduce stigma and discrimination within the public health sector also by ensuring our public referral mechanism works in a very good manner. We will not only focus on the state, but at the same time, we will be focusing on the district to build up the capacity and just not the capacity, but also the strengthening the systems of community-led organizations to ensure that no one is left behind. We, we provide respectful and dignified services to our trans people. We will be also ensuring that we increase health-seeking behavior within the transgender population and ensure that we we educate our community for not going to any unprofessional doctors or medical uh, officers. We would urge people to go to professional medical professionals uh, to avail the services. This is what is expected from our Maharashtra clinics. Can we have the next slide, please? And this would not be possible or will not be possible without the generous support of American people, PEPFAR USAID, Maharashtra State AIDS Control Society, and last but not least, my dear community, which includes me also. Because together we can build the system, we can ensure that proper services are given through the systems for us. So thank you so much for um, uh, for having this. I now hand over the proceedings to Shankri. Thank, thank you, Simran and Aditya. Thank you so much for unpacking the uh, trans health services which we have planned for Pune as well as in Thane to be more specific in Kalyan. I think um, this was this was needed in the community, and we were hearing stories from trans women as well as trans men, as well as from Hijra community about such services and how best they can utilize. I think we have a very, very good package of services. Thank you so much, Aditya and Simran, and thank you so much for all the community leaders and community members who have given their feedback and helped us to build these packages. Thank you so much. Uh, I would request Simran uh, to take the uh, proceedings further. Absolutely, Shankri. Now, may I request esteemed Council General David J. Rance, U.S. Consulate Mumbai, for his special address. Council General David J. Rance is a member of the Senior Foreign Services Class of Ministers Councillor, the, the 2004 recipient of the U.S. Department of State's Herbert Sa Salzman Award for the International Economic Performance. Thank you very much, Simran. Good afternoon and happy Pride Month to everybody. 
It is uh, truly an honor to be among this community of distinguished leaders and activists in celebration of this incredible initiative. Pride Month offers us an opportunity to honor the courage, resilience, and important contributions of the LGBTQI plus community. It also prompts us to consider the significant work we still need to do to foster communities that are inclusive and meet the basic human needs of people from all walks of life. USAID's Accelerate project has taken a step forward in this important work by aiming to control the HIV epidemic in India via demonstration of service delivery models in Maharashtra and Telangana. These efforts advanced a step further in January of this year when the National AIDS Control Organization, otherwise known as NACO, the Telangana State AIDS Prevention and Control Society, and USAID through the Accelerate Project, all launched India's first transgender clinic in Hyderabad. The clinic is completely led and operated by transgender persons and provides comprehensive health services to the transgender community in a safe and stigma-free environment. As a result of the overwhelming response to the clinic, I am very pleased to announce that today we are launching two similar healthcare models in Maharashtra to address the health and social needs of the members of the transgender community here. I commend NACO and the Maharashtra State AIDS Control Society for recognizing the need for care that specifically addresses the health and well being of the transgender community. Your support has brought these models and the clinics that will arise from them to life. In March of 2021, the U.S. Centers of Disease Control and Prevention, or CDC, with support from NACO and the Manipur State AIDS Control Society, also helped launch the Transgender Health and Wellness Center at the Nehru Institute of Medical Sciences in Impal. This initiative, performed in coordination with Marupuloi Foundation, brought improved access to health care, specifically HIV AIDS medical care, to the transgender community in Northeast India. The United States is tremendously proud to support these critical initiatives. Through our partnership with NACO and the state AIDS control societies, we are helping ensure that transgender community members have access to care in an environment where they feel safe and know they are understood. These services include general health care, guidance and medication on hormone therapy and gender affirmation procedures, mental health counseling, HIV STI counseling, prevention and treatment services, legal aid, and social protection services. The United States approach to development on these critical issues is built on inclusive partnerships. I am proud to report that the partnerships we are launching today in Maharashtra incorporate service delivery models designed with a wide and diverse range of stakeholders, including transgender community members and activists. These clinics are truly safe and inclusive. The initiative we are launching today also builds on over 70 years of U.S.-India cooperation in health. For more than two decades, USAID has worked with NACO to provide targeted technical support to respond to the HIV epidemic in India. Since 2005, the United States, through the President's Emergency Plan for AIDS Relief, or PEPFAR, has invested over $300 million in programs that support the planning and implementation of NACO programs to achieve HIV epidemic control. USAID's HIV projects in India, and specifically in the state of Maharashtra, are designed to improve the quality of HIV prevention, testing, and treatment services for the most marginalized and discriminated populations, including the LGBTQI community. The CDC is also a strong partner in improving the health sector in India. In Mumbai, the CDC partnered with the Mumbai District AIDS Control Society to improve the quality of HIV treatment services and to increase access to life-saving medications for people living with HIV. CDC's work is focused on developing community-centric service delivery models to further decentralize the dispensation of HIV medicines, decrease barriers to testing and treatment, improve retention and care, and increase routine viral load testing to ensure treatment is effective. In many countries, LGBTQI plus communities face pervasive discrimination and do not have access to essential services such as education, employment, and safe and stigma-free healthcare. 
Many also experience rejection from families, religious communities, and other social networks that prevent the community's meaningful inclusion in broader development efforts. President Biden issued a memorandum in February directing all U.S. agencies engaged abroad to ensure that the United States, that United States diplomacy and foreign assistance promote and protect the human rights of LGBTQI plus persons. In the memorandum, President Biden stated, all human beings should be treated with respect and dignity and should be able to live without fear, no matter who they are or whom they love. Projects such as these have translated this conviction into concrete actions that in time will lead to a safer, more compassionate world. I want to thank you all for your time and kind attention and a special thanks to NACO, Maharashtra SACS, the Accelerate Project and the Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine. I look forward to visiting the two new clinics in Pune and Tane in the near future so I can witness firsthand the impacts of your efforts. And I wish you much success in this important initiative. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Consul General David J. Rains. Thank you so much. Uh, without the US people's support, this clinic launch would have not been possible. And thank you so much for your kind presence virtually and um, addressing the audience. Um, we are very happy and pleased to inform that uh, the, the uh, commitment from MSAC's uh, project, uh, we would like to welcome project director Sri Chandrakan Dange, IAS officer and Joint Director BSD, Dr. Ratna Rao Khande, Joint Director Target Intervention, Dr. Lokesh Gabane, and uh, Joint Director CST, Dr. Pramo Devraj. Please, sir, all are welcome for this event launch. Thank you so much. Sir, can we request you to please formally inaugurate this beautiful uh, launch, sir? And uh, it wouldn't have been possible without everyone's support out here. So just bring this here. Can we also in, uh, um, have Ms. Shri Gauri uh, Savanji on the uh, platform as a community representative and a leader? Can we also have Shri Krishnan sir and Vasu sir please on, on, uh, on the dais please. Talia Jordar Bajmi Chaye. Okay. Can I request Vasu sir also to please come?
povo. Um, can we have a digital background behind um, Shrinu? Can we have the digital background behind? It's coming. सर नंतर आपण कारू या तिकडे पाठी मागे हो 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 थँक यू सो मच थँक यू थँक यू थँक यू थँक यू सो मच फॉर ऑल ऑनरेबल ऑफ रिस्पेक्टेड ऑफिशियल्स फ्रॉम एम सॅक्स फॉर देअर कमिटमेंट अँड इनॉग्रेटिंग दिस प्रोसेस अँड launching of the transgender health clinic thank you so much sir thank you so much okay now um yeah now i would request um yeah uh, hussain please uh, come with yeah this is a community token love uh, token of love uh, which we thought of giving from the community's hand to our dignitaries who are physically present out here so may i request uh shri dange saab ko thank you yeah shama shamli sorry shamli please sonali can we request Mira can we have a uh, view for Shri Krishnan sir Thank you and um, can we have Shri Devi can we have uh, the token of love for Devraj sir Dr Devraj please Thank you doctor. Um can we have Shankri for our beloved community leader Gau Shri Gauri Savanchi? And can we have Madhuri for um Vasudevan sir please? um we actually have a video for you but before playing a video since one of our community leaders have to uh, join some other event also uh, we request uh, shri gauri savanchi to please come on the stage and uh, give the community expectations uh, namaste happy pride for everyone i think neko is also there is neko is uh, ma'am is there okay online oh, i'm so sorry ओके आई कॅन सी फ्रॉम युअर नमस्कार मेरा नाम श्री गौरी सावंत है मैं महाराष्ट्र तृतीय पंथी बोर्ड की मेंबर हूँ एंड आई एम रनिंग अ टारगेटेड इंटरवेंशन फ्रॉम एन एस पी वन से मैं काम कर रही हूँ एंड आई एम एट प्रेजेंट मैं अजी का घर करके संकल्पना के ऊपर काम करती हूँ जहाँ पे हम लोग ओल्ड ट्रांसजेंडर सेक्स वर्कर्स की बच्चों को संभालते हैं 
सेवरल इश्यूज इतने सालों का स्ट्रगल के बाद वॉट वी हैव फाउंड यू नो वी आर वर्किंग ऑन मेंटल हेल्थ इश्यूज के ऊपर काम करते थे एच आई वी का अगर प्रिवेलेंस अगर आप देखोगे महाराष्ट्र में बहुत ज्यादा है ट्रांसजेंडर्स और ट्रकर्स इंटरवेंशन में और सिर्फ हम एक कॉन्टेंट डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ही करते थे तो ज्यादातर कम्युनिटी का ये सवाल आता था कि हमारे हेल्थ रिलेटेड कुछ होना चाहिए एंड पीपल यूज टू गो फॉर क्वैक डॉक्टर्स जिनके पास जाके वजाइनो प्लास्टिक नहीं होती थी हार्मोन थेरेपी नहीं होती सो दिस इज वेरी आई एम सो हैप्पी यू नो इतने सालों बाद कि अगर हमारे लिए कुछ ऐसी सुविधा मिलती है तो दिस इज गुड और ये सेकेंड प्रोमिस महाराष्ट्र गवर्नमेंट ने भी प्रोमिस किया है कि एवरी सेक्टर दे आर गोइंग टू मेक अ वन विंडो अप्रोच फॉर ट्रांसजेंडर पीपल सो दिस विल बी ऑल्सो Amunde sir has promised they will do this for everyone. And second thing, we are very happy. But thodi si baat mujhe buri lagegi ki ye sirf thana aur isme nahi hona chahiye. Population agar aap dekhoge Bombay mein sabse jada population hai sir. So if they could allow your team to have a clinic set up in Mumbai also, so that will be benefit for us. Pune is good, Thane is also good. But if you see the number of transgender people in Mumbai, we have huge number and we require this same in Mumbai. Thank you. absolutely indeed well taken point thank you shri gauri ji uh, for highlighting that there is a need which is just not limited to thane and pune and we completely take that point we will um, try and see if we can collaborate with some other entities and also ensure we cover mumbai thank you so much with that we also have a very beautiful and a very prominent community leader uh who has unfortunately she could not be here but we have a video message uh from her to us can we have the video mes message please lakshmi narayan tripathi i am really very happy to announce and congratulate the entire community on behalf of john hopkins the project and the clinic which they are coming in maharashtra accelerate it is a comprehensive clinic which will give not only about hiv aids it will take care of many other things whether it is gender affirming certificates laser techniques many other things holistic approach accelerate is one platform where the things which we have dreamed way back since 1999 i still remember when i came in the hiv field and i always said that transgenders are different than msn and i believe accelerate john hopkins is creating one platform which is our ownership which the community will own and it's our own space i congratulate everybody who has put their heart and soul in getting this clinic up maharashtra is the birthplace of even the transgender activism one more history to be written in this pride month thank you john hopkins thank you all the partners for trusting the community once again and creating history lakshmi narayan tripathi what a beautiful message from shri lakshmi narayan tripathi ji indeed a community leader as i see our virtual display right now i also see our esteemed dignitaries from naco uh, as sir as well as uh, the naco representatives have joined us so we welcome them also uh, welcome sir welcome everyone from naco uh, so good to see you sir it's it just seems that you're so close to me hello Yeah, it's good to be here. Good to be amongst friends. And I'm for the pity I'm not in Mumbai. But yes, sir. I'm all good. All good, sir. And uh, sir, we are just listening to community uh, voices, and we are also being joined by Salma Khan ji. So may I invite Shri Salma Khan ji to please come on the uh, dais to give her community expectation for a minute.
नमस्ते सभी यहाँ पर उपस्थित लोगों को मैं तहे दिल से धन्यवाद कहती हूँ मैं सलमा के नरमा ट्रस्ट की संचालिका और महाराष्ट्र तृतीय पंथी वेलफेयर बोर्ड इसकी उपाध्यक्षा और लोक अदालत की पैनल मेंबर हूँ और अभी यहाँ पर लक्ष्मी जी ने सभी बता दिया होगा गौरी जी ने सब कुछ बताया होगा तो मुझे नहीं लगता मेरे बताने जैसे कुछ ज्यादा है लेकिन जो आज ये हॉस्पिटल बनाया है ट्रांसजेंडर्स के लिए जो क्लिनिक बनाया है हाँ तो ये इनिशिएटिव लेकर मुझे बहुत अच्छा लगा है कि मेरी शंकरी सिमरन सब आगे बढ़ रहे हैं और धीरे धीरे हमारा समाज जागरूक हो रहा है और उन्नति के मार्ग पे चल रहा है तो मैं आशा करती हूँ कि भविष्य में ऐसे क्लिनिक और बने और हमारे ट्रांसजेंडर को डिजिटल प्लेटफॉर्म मिले जो कि अभी शंकर इन्होंने शुरू किया ही है और धीरे धीरे हमारा समाज अब जागरूक हो रहा है अब वो दिन दूर नहीं है जब हम भी समाज से मुख्य प्रवाह में खंडे से खंडा लगा के चलेंगे अब ट्रांसजेंडर्स भी डॉक्टर टीचर पायलट और इस तरीके के बड़े बड़े पद पर दिखाई देंगे हम आशा करते हैं आने वाले दिनों में धन्यवाद जय हिंद जय भारत नमस्ते थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू सो मच नानी थैंक यू सो मच आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट हुसैन नानी वन मिनट नानी हुसैन प्लीज वेलकम सलमा खान जी विद अ बुके ऑफ फ्लावर्स या प्लीज या या थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू सो मच yeah thank you so much to all the community voices Th i thank everyone for coming here and sharing the expectations yes the expectations are huge and we have a huge responsibilities for us for us people as well as msacs and yrg care and jhu but definitely we will try our best to deliver those services uh, i would request simran now to take the proceedings further thank you so much i think this is what it is without community we are nothing and i know there are more few leaders i can see priya sitting out here i can see raj uh, sitting out, out here and uh, yes we assure you that we will also hear your voices aapke statement bhi hum sunenge but before that i would like to take this for proceeding a little further um may i now request a special address from shri chandrakant dange who's who's going to join us physically who is already here an is officer an alumni from iit kharagpur and presently the project director maharashtra state aids control society shri chandrakant dange has been a strong guiding force in the community's development initiative over to shri dange sahab thank you so much sir good afternoon everybody it's a delightful moment for me and it's a, a very first of its kind to be present so it is a very uh, special event for me to have company of all of you know transgender people can have unique health care care needs many health concerns that transgender transgender people face is due to minority stress which is characterized by negative social attitudes and disapproval that is social stigma towards transgender people abuse harassment neglect 
rejection or unfair treatment of transgender people and internalization of social stigma are key issues that transgender individuals experience in addition because of minority stress transgender people are at risk of emotional and psychological abuse physical and sexual violence sexually transmitted diseases viral hepatitis and hiv and mental health problems such as depression anxiety and suicidal thoughts the largest barrier lack of providers with expertise in transgender med medicines discrimination in the health setting lack of consulate competence by healthcare facilities to address these set of problems and these set of difficulties faced by transgender people government is also taking effort was their betterment under the guidance of naco msex has been instrumental in supporting the marginalized tgs msm population by running five tg hijra project and seven exclusive msm project across the state with the financial support of naco in addition to that naco has been providing programmatic and technical inputs to msex in order to enhance the coverage and comprehensive service package to the tgs and msm population key highlights and deliverables from the projects which are implemented by msex are support hiv screening and testing and referral services to the community advocacy and behavioral change communication in the community providing sti diagnosis and treatment services supply of free condom and lubricants monitoring the key population on treatment on art and adherence beside this msex and its ti partners like yg care yrg care and other partners are working towards offering high quality hiv care continuum to all those at risk for or with hiv yrg care through project accelerate is in the forefront with support for unique approaches such as index testing art linkages door delivery of art during covid-19 times support to our staff for pp and essentials to prevent covid-19 spread etc as a project director i am delighted to hear and know that the two tg clinics are functional very soon and in location that are most critical that is thane and pune we are sure through this clinic project excellate will reach out to all those hidden tg population and bring them cheer knowing msec through their key partner yrg care is offering this unique opportunity to assuring them sig sigma free assured healthcare support just now uh, salma ji had raised the point that and salma ji and i think uh, gauri gauri savant ji they have raised the point that the population of tgs are more in mumbai so the need the need of such clinic is more warranted in mumbai jurisdiction but uh, just to tell all of all of you that for mumbai district there is a special different organization we are uh, dealing with affairs of maharashtra state 
excluding Mumbai. So like Mumbai, uh, MSAC means Maharashtra State AIDS Control Society. We have in Maharashtra State for Mumbai, that is Mumbai District AIDS Control Society. Obviously, we'll take this point to them as well as uh, Government of Maharashtra and NACO. And uh, similar efforts uh, may be taken or will be taken at uh, MDEX level. Besides starting this clinic at Thane and Pune, we'll be uh, taking efforts to uh, have such type of clinic in other parts of Maharashtra, especially uh, big cities like Nagpur, Aurangabad, Kolapur, Nasik, and any other places where we need to have so. Beside these, this sort of clinics, there is, I think there is a need to have change in the attitude of other people. There is need to have attitudinal change in society towards the likes and emotional needs of transgender people. No, that's okay. There is a awareness among members of TG community. That's very good and it's a positive sign. But beside this awareness, there is a very urgent need to have awareness among rest of the society towards the dealing or towards behavior with transgender people. So, uh, <clears throat> our uh, next effort will be to have uh, some headway towards the attitudinal change in the society towards this TG community. So on this occasion, on behalf of MSEC, I wish Project Accelerate and YG, YRG Care our best and assure MSEC will continue to support and provide guidance where required. Our project officers have been brief on the need to collaborate and coordinate to optimize resources that are invested in attempts to enhance the quality of HIV services. At the end, I again congratulate YRG Care for their project Accelerate to have better living facility, better health facilities for transgender community. And I wish them to have such project in future to flourish in at least in Maharashtra. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. May I now humbly request Shri Alok Saxena Ji, Additional Secretary, Additional Secretary, Director General NACO, for his kind words of encouragement and strong message on the significance of this initiative. We would like to mention here that Alok Ji is one of the strongest supporters for community engagement and has always encouraged us to think out of the box and contribute for the benefit of our people and the national program. Today we are here because of you, Sri Alok Ji. Over to you. Shukriya. Thank you, Simran. And I'm delighted to be here this afternoon with all old friends and new. And I'm so glad that we have Mr. David Rance, Consul General, U.S. Consulate in Mumbai. I also address Chandrakant Dangi, Project Director, who just spoke before me, and my sisters, Lakshmi Tripathi, Salma, Ranjita Nayak, Neeta Keni, Sri Gauri Savant, all community leaders in their right. Dr. Sangeeta Kaur, Dr. Sunil Solomon, and Mr. Aditya Singh from JHU, Dr. Sangeeta Kaur from USAID, friends and colleagues. So as I said, at the outset, I would like to congratulate all of you on the occasion of the launch of this comprehensive service delivery sites for transgender population in Maharashtra. 
uh, as we heard in Mumbai and in Thane, uh, in, in Thane and in Pune, and the demand for Mumbai remains, and we've been promised that shortly we, we're going to have a similar clinic in Mumbai. I think it's a it's a project, it's an idea whose time perhaps came a few years ago, but now the time has come for its implementation. Also, you know, if we see that it could have been more timely, particularly in the wake of the COVID pandemic, which has hit us all in some form or the other. And it is imperative that in these hard times, a collective response with community at the forefront is made by all of us together to ensure the essential health services are integrated, maintained, and augmented. So this setback that we have received by this raging pandemic, we convert it into an opportunity and also into something that takes us ahead. You know, ever since the program started almost 30 years ago, we have been working with key populations. I always say many of these key populations 30 years ago were neither seen nor heard. They were invisible or we were blind to them. The society was blind to them. Uh, you know, certainly hijrat and transgenders were not visible. MSM perhaps were, but we were blind to all of them, the society. And it was NACO which first in the, uh, you know, initially started with AIDS control, but subsequently for each one of these key populations, because we were working so closely and the program was designed to be community led and with the involvement of communities, we were able to find out each one of them had their own issues to be resolved and had to be beyond health. We had to look at their well being or to take them further. I mean, whoever need to look at their well being, I would say, to walk with them further to maybe open doors for them and to open windows for them. So uh, 30 years on, uh, MSM population is no longer, you know, below the legal star, uh, radar. Similarly, transgenders have now, of course, NACO remains a home, but have now a full program division in Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment and an act to uh, you know, identify and to uh, with the problems and to resolve them. Uh, again, led by the communities developed and designed by them. So, uh, as things are now coming out in public discourse, we are talking, we are taking note of each other. Then we realize that the requirements and the demands are not only relating to HIV AIDS, that still remains a big challenge, but then a comprehensive, what is required is a comprehensive uh, service delivery mechanism uh, where you have, first we need to talk to them to, to understand each one has a different issue, each one has a different problem, be it not being recognized by family or sometimes families are supporting them, but, you know, peer group, workplace, schools, colleges. So that is the first need. Second is, you know, some kind of a counseling, handholding and support. Then the health needs, needs for, um, you know, the kind, kind of drugs that are required. Then uh, in case somebody is willing for or wants gender reassignment, uh, reassignment procedures that uh, also, so these are the imminent and more visible health needs. Also when the, when, when particularly people who are living with HIV, transgender people who are living with HIV, uh, we, they are now almost all of them on ARVs under the treat all uh, for the life given by the government of India under the National AIDS Control Program. Their life expectancy has increased longevity has increased. So with that, uh, why are you sweating? Why, what's happened, uh, Simran? <laughs> Sorry, I sir. Think, I think, why are you sweating, Simran? Everything okay? 
sir nervous i mean my frame is next to you sir i will feel nervous i will sweat sir <laughs> so so i'm saying that with with uh, with uh, you know life expectancy increasing with longevity uh, the populations are going to be increasingly faced with uh, various other kind of uh, you know diseases ncds and uh, communicable but mostly uh, hypertension di diabetes you know so that again is a package of uh, you know health package that we need to take to them deliver and also when you are on arvs and you've taken uh, hormone drugs in your prime you would need a certain kind of regular uh, you know meetings with doctors regular consultations and some other kind of medicine so all that needs to be part so we start with talking and counseling and we end with transgender uh, in their uh, transgender people in their 60s and 70s who need the other kind of health care also societal support many of them may or may not have family support so that all this is i visualize as a comprehensive service delivery for the transgender population i am so glad that beginning was made in hyderabad telangana then uh, under the accelerate project then we had in the jawaharlal nehru institute of medical sciences in manipur now in maharashtra so uh, accelerate usaid johns hopkins uh, dr call uh, dr solomon and aditya have actually lived up to their promises and they're delivering and uh, i'm glad that uh, this is continuing and that you know we'll have more such centers but what is required is that and i'm sure it's going to happen is that the, the people the our communities for whom it is they need to be uh, completely involved in its running management planning nothing is static the situation always is dynamic so we need to be nimble footed in our thinking and in our approach so as to modify and change with time and this clinic is one of them i'm sure it's i'm actually glad not sure that this is filling a gap which was there and this model i wish that it is cost effective replicable and we get much more return on investment than the actual investment if that happens and i'm sure it's going to happen we'll be replicating that under you know program at various places so i wish all of you all the best i don't know uh, vinita has given me a strict uh, uh, script and let me ask her if i missed any point but i think whatever i wanted to say i have covered i i you know for my for this transgender community i always speak from my heart not that for others i don't but whatever i have to say i have said if i have missed something uh why well, you know vinita would participant has joined the meeting the script uh so i i wish this uh this project and this initiative all the best and i i'm sure that we're going to have more such models and more such uh, centers thank you very much thank you sir thank you so much indeed as as pd sir said as you said sir we will definitely flourish flourish and flourish sir and we look upon to you for your guidance for your support for your technical assistance and definitely one day we will reach to an aim where we find no uh, no new zero positive cases in india and that can only come true when we all together collaborate and work together thank you so much sir my pleasure let me now let me now invite dr sangeeta call chief hiv and aids division united states agency for international development india usaid to detailed usaid commitment to transgender health and to conclude the event with vote of thanks over to you dr sangeeta thank you simran uh, good afternoon all consulate general david rand 
uh, Director General, Additional Secretary, NACO, Mr. Alok Saksena, Project Director, Maharashtra SACS, Mr. Chandrakant Dange, Deputy Director General, NACO, Dr. Shobhani, and all esteemed partners and participants. Thank you all for being part of this launch event of the two transgender clinics in the state of Maharashtra. USAID is very committed to working with the transgender community that has been one of the neglected populations till date, having limited access to health, education, social, and legal services. USAID programs and initiatives advance the human rights of LGBTQI people and protect them against stigma and discrimination. USAID, while working through its implementing partner, John Hopkins School of Medicine, is striving for high quality service delivery in both Pune and Thane districts in Maharashtra, as well as in the Hyderabad Transgender Clinic in Telangana, working in close coordination with NACO, MSAS, and Telangana SACS. A big thank you to all the community members for being with us in this journey of providing comprehensive services to the transgender community. Your role in conceptualizing and designing the healthcare services in Maharashtra and Telangana is commendable. Last but not the least, I would like to thank the JHU YRG team for organizing this event. Thank you once again. Have a great rest of the day. Thank you. Thank you, Simran. Over to you. Sure. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you so much. Indeed, as ma'am said, as sir said, and as everyone said, this would not have been possible without the generous support of United States people, without the support of USAID PEPFAR, without the support of MSACS, NACO, and last but not least, you, the community, without which we are nothing, these interventions are nothing. So thank you so much. And um, before we close officially, can we all have a group photograph behind? Uh, maybe with a social distancing, please wear your mask and we can all collect behind and have a beautiful picture. With the group photograph, we conclude today's soft launch for the transgender clinic in the state of Maharashtra. Thank you, everyone who have joined us virtually. Thank you, everyone, everyone, each and every one. Thank you all. Thank you so much. Thank you. For joining virtually, please can you put on your video so we can take a quick picture. We'll take some screenshots. 
ना इंडिया कितना बेटा अरे बोलो बात करो ना थोड़ा सा ले रहा हूँ अपने ले रहा हूँ क्या स्टेल ला सिक्सटी मार लेते हैं टॉक तो है ना सेव दी Yes, you have a lot of people. Yeah. Okay, okay. okay. Please switch on your camera. Okay, I think you have camera switch on. सुभाष Okay.